This is a shocking story of Bridget Bardo, from once a struggling ballerina to how she became an international sensation in the silver screen. From reaching peak fame to attempting suicide thrice, stay tuned to learn about Bridget Bardo's intriguing life. Bardo was born on the 28th of September in 1934 in the 15th arrondissement of Paris. Her father, Louise Bardo, was an engineer. Her mother, Anne Maria, was the manager of her father's insurance company. Bridget lived with strict parents. Her mother chose the dress that she wore daily, the meals they ate, and the people she spoke with. Her father was even more difficult. He almost disowned his daughter because they broke a vase, but paradoxically her parents' strict demands for the perfect behavior motivated her rebellious and wild lifestyle. Bridget Bardo had a passion for dance from a very young age and she dreamt of becoming a professional ballerina. She began studying ballet at the Conservatory de Paris at the age of seven, and by the time she was a teenager, she was already performing in various ballets. However, after suffering an injury at the age of 15, Bardot's aspirations to become a ballerina were cut short, and she had to find new paths to pursue. One day, she was spotted performing ballet by Helen Gordon, Lazareff, the then director of LA Magazine, and she would make her a junior fashion model. At the age 15, Bardot made her first magazine appearance on the cover of Ellie. This attracted movie offers, but her parents forbade her from acting. Anyway, with her grandfather's support, she auditioned for her first movie role, but this flopped. The second time was a charm from the young actress. In 1952, she landed a movie offer in the comedy craze for love following her second feature in LA Magazine. She was then featured in the French film Manina, The Girl in Bikini. Bardo was getting more popular as an actress with each passing day, and by 1955, she was featured in Doctor at Sea, which went on to become the third most popular movie at the British box office that year. Her breakthrough role came with the 1965 melodrama and God Created Woman. The film was an international hit, and this marked the peak of Bardo's acting career. In 1960, following her appearance in the courtroom drama The Truth, Bridget was involved in a well-publicized romantic affair outside her marriage, which almost resulted in taking her own life. What is the truth about this girl? She entered the industry against her parents' wishes, and this might just be that decision she would regret for the rest of her life. Her parents tried all that they could do to manage Bardo's rebellious lifestyle, but the actress wouldn't cooperate. At 18, the adolescent actress went for her first audition, and while she didn't get the role, she found something she thought was better – teenage love. Of course, this threw her parents into a wild rage. But the actress was bent on having her way, even if it meant putting her head on spikes. And that she did. Bardo had her head in an open oven with fire after her parents got her tickets to England to continue her education as they tried to separate the two lovers. Tired and frustrated, they would let them be and Bardo got married to Roger the following year. He was six years her senior, but who would think that she would get bored of the love she almost gave her life for just two years after marriage? I had four husbands and more than a hundred lovers, the actress confessed in her autobiography. Bardo was a highly desired woman, and though this came with a few perks, it made it difficult for her to commit fully to relationships as she had a long list of all kinds of men to choose from. On why she was always unfaithful in relationships, Bridget said, I always look for passion when the present was getting lukewarm. And when the present fuels out, the actress was emailing the next man on the list. Four years into her marriage with Rogers, the director had just had his directing debut, and he featured his wife in what might be the most successful movie of her career. And God Created Woman brought their dreams as a family closer. However, unknown to the director, his wife had started a secret romance with co-star Jean Louis Trintignant. Rogers divorced her for this, but they still maintained friendship and even collaborated on many other projects. Jean Louis was married at the time, but he still lived with Bardo for two years, and it was a very long wait for the actress. And Jean was always away, and as you know, Brigitte got bored and started an affair with musician Gilbert Baco. Following her separation from Jean, the actress fell into depression and almost committed suicide. 
When she got better, she started a relationship with actor Jacques Cherrier, and they got married in 1959. Bardo had her only child from this relationship. Throughout her career, she has been romantically linked to various men, including Glenn Ford, Sammy Frey, musician Bob Zagiri, Warren Betty, and Laurent Burgess. Bardot is currently married to Bernard Diormel since 1922, and in 2018, the French actress appeared in an interview to deny all rumors of affairs outside her marriage. And for the most insecurities in relationships, the actress blames her parents. Bardo came from the type of Catholic home where mothers dictated and strictly enforced everyday clothes for their girls, the meals they ate, and even handpicked her friends for her. The actress recounted a time when she and her sister Mijanao broke a vase while playing in the house, and their father Luis would whip them 20 times and still, he wasn't satisfied. He started ignoring them and treated his daughters like strangers. Luis still went further to use the French verb vu, a verb for strangers and formal greeting to address his girls. Bridget might not be able to brag about a perfect childhood, but she's thankful that it shaped her into the person that she is today. <laughs> Louise and his wife were so cruel that at one time, they would kill Bardo's pet rabbit Nerend and dress him for dinner. This became a major motivation for her animal activism movement. During her early years as an actress, Bardo enjoyed the attention, but with greater fame came greater trouble. In her late 30s, the actress confessed that she had become a victim of her image and felt suffocated by the industry. So wasting no time, the 39-year-old Bardo would call it quits with the screen business, especially after she discovered a new purpose. Bardo always loved animals, but no one thought that she would give up a high-profile career for animal activism. Bridget on why she did what she did confessed that she could relate better with animals as she knew what it feels like to be haunted. At some point, Bardo lived with a dozen of dogs and about 40 cats with her livestock rescued from slaughterhouses. She is a passionate vegetarian who's donated millions of dollars to the animal protection cause. But quite unfortunately, her love for animals wasn't still enough to fill the huge vacuum of emptiness in her heart. Bardo at the peak of her career was the envy of many, but her life behind scenes was crushing her soul. Throughout her career, the actress has tried to commit suicide multiple times. The first time, she stuck her head in a heated oven because her parents wouldn't let her marry Rogers. Thankfully, her parents were able to stop her before she got any serious injuries. The second attempt on her life was on the 26th birthday when she slit her wrist and overdosed on her sleeping pills. At age 58, the actress survived yet another overdose of her tranquilizers with a pumped stomach. Bardo has accepted the sad reality that she might never be truly happy. When you live in intense moments, as I have always done, there is always a bill to pay. Bardo shared with The Guardian, you cannot escape the distress which follows great happiness. The French actress today continues to push her animal protection movement and has written so many letters to countries addressing animal cruelty. She is currently enjoying her longest-lasting marriage with her husband Bernard Ormel. Bridget Bardo, now 88 years, is still kicking ass and finally has found true happiness, according to her, in the little things of life. She lives in La Madrid, France. The actress has a reported net worth of $65 million. So what do you remember about Bridget Bardo? Are there any fond memories? Let us know in the comments and if you liked this video, don't forget to watch other videos of our channel on the beautiful actresses of yesteryear. Thanks for watching. Thanks for